My name is Oinola Odumeo, and I currently attempted the Guinness World Record for the longest painting marathon. I painted 30 artworks for 82 hours. I was inspired by a lot of um, world record on, um, holders from past years. Um, Kafi, Debbie, Pinky Debbie, and Ilda. Currently, Ilda inspired me this year again. So that was why I took the attempt, or so I decided to take the attempt. I know I remember painting as a child, having like a lot of my artworks on my wall, like in my room. That was like the genesis. When people were dancing, when they were singing, I would sing along, and it was interesting. I enjoyed that last day actually, because I think it was after Bella Niger posted that other blogs now started very posting insta blog posted people that were not posting before now started posting it's actually very interesting i enjoyed every part of it even at the point where there was no um spotlight or anything online like it was interesting i enjoyed because it's something that i enjoyed doing so i didn't even see it as a chore i think when i started when i did i say when i joined the ns space and I like made like some sales, like one of my sales, and I was like, ah, so you can sell your artwork for like, you can sell your artworks for this amount, and like, the people buying these works, they are like very excited that they even bought the work. So at that point, I think by the time I calculated the amount I made from my first sale to like, I made like a lot of money <laughs> and <Very much. laughs> ah, I think my total then as I last year in November, maybe I made like up to like 2 million or something wow. from all the sales, like all together, one of one and editions. So even from the major sales and the small sales, like by the time I calculated all the money and there were some that I didn't even calculate, like on other platforms that I couldn't calculate, but like it was like millions and when I told my mom then, like when I got my first sale, it was close to her birthday. So I bought a new phone for her. And she was like, uh uh, is it from this same art that you made the money? And I was like, yes, yeah. she was like, ah, art is good though. <laughs> <laughs> so she was, she was like, ah, that is someone can make this kind of money from yeah. selling artworks. So she was like, I pray that more will come, or do this, that. So, like I said, when I calculated the money, and I was like, ah, just from selling artwork. So I was like, okay, I'll just like put in more efforts. And I knew that I didn't just want to remain in the NFT space because it's called Web3. And Web2 is called like outside life. So I was like, I want something. I want more. I don't just want like to make sales online. I want, I want to be able to interact with people outside be able to do exhibitions and people will come like in real life to like see my works and like to explain those artworks from their own perspective so that's when i decided that okay i would start traditional like when i explained to you that i did my first painting and it wasn't bad like for the, for the first time after like how many years so it was just me practicing and and I saw the opportunity to do the marathon and I took the opportunity. At the end, I'm just going to like give thanks to God because I know like everything that I went through, it was just God because at some point it felt like maybe we could not go on because we changed venue twice and it was just looking like to me, like me, I, 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 I'm someone that has faith. Like I've always been like that. Religion. If I, yes, not not like I'm religious, religious but like my, I have a very strong faith. Like if I tell God that I want to do this, I want to do that, and I put my faith, I know that it will work. So even when they said the, the venue stuff happened the first time, if it was someone else, maybe they would have broken down and said, "Let's just move it to another week." And I was still like, okay, let's just ask people. I said texting people that I know. Um, do you have a space? Do you this? And so, um, one of my friends or my cousin's friend, I reached out to her and she was like, okay, let me see. Let me talk to some people. So she was the one that really helped me. And then I got the space that I finally got. 
so that it was like three days to the event and three days to the event to the event i should be resting i wasn't resting i was looking for another space i was going around lagos finding a new spot i, I found one but there was like a mix-up and maybe like the communication wasn't clear between um both parties and we now had to change again like we put out that address that we found a space and everybody already excited and the night they called again and said eh, something 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 you have to pay again <sighs> and i'm like <laughs> we talked this afternoon everything like was clear like, was like it was us cake. so at that point everybody around decided saying maybe we should move it to next week i was like <sighs> I now asked everyone on the team, like the adjudicators and the other ones, will you be free next week? They said no. <sighs> I was like, if they are not free next week, my parents too were not going to be free the next week. They had an event in yeah, what like there was something for everybody next week. And I was like, we just have to do it. There's no point. Let's just do it. let's see how it goes. Like last last. At least I'm the one that wants to paint. I am ready. I know I'm ready mentally and physically. Let's do it. And they kept saying, Are you sure? So I was the one that went again to find like that last space that I finally found. I went to meet the person because I have to go to explain myself. And so we found that one. We sealed the deal and I was sure that nothing was going to change again because it was a day to the event that we found that other space. And we told her, ah, we're going to, because we're supposed to start seven. Our plan was to start seven. Like everybody set up seven. We start the event by 10 a.m. Mm -hmm. But we just got a space the afternoon before it's not possible everybody's going to gather by seven and we start 10 it's not possible so we said we'll start two everybody got there 12. we didn't start until 6 30. because there was still like a lot of this person has not come adjudicator okay i was ready we already did like the old okay i've set everything my paints and everything yeah. i've even said point paints and then they say adjudicators have not come ah. Okay, the, the witnesses from, from like Guinness. the Guinness, yes. Wow. So I was like, ah, okay. Let me go and sit down back inside. Though. So I just went back inside. I was there chilling, and then when it was like six thirty, they said everything is set. So I was like, okay, let's start. Because we knew that if you start six thirty, that means we're going to finish six thirty on the last day. So that was um, it was supposed to be Tuesday by six thirty. So that was when it clocked 72 yeah. hours and everybody, people were around. That was, I think Sasuke was there, Ade herself was around. A lot of people were around at 6.30 when it was 72 hours. So after then, like people still waited for me to, I think I got to 80 and some people were still there. A lot of people were still there. So people, I, I think we had like engagements on Twitter. Like the, the people, like the people that handled my um, social media, they really tried because I give it to them. Like my cousin was part of them, and for La George, he was like the main person in charge of Instagram. So like he really tried. Like he tried. He was also the one that did the websites where we sold yeah. most all the artworks. It was also something like very easy for me to do. I think the first twelve hours I was too fast. Mm. I had someone like one of the timekeepers saying, "Tell him to slow down." Like she's so fast. Like I did like how many works? Maybe eight in like twelve hours. And they were like, ah. Like, why? Why, why are you rushing? <laughs> My plan was to do twenty-five. I already wrote like the twenty-five down already in my notes. So it was just telling the person beside me, my cousin. She was one assistant. And uh, what's the next one? What's the next one? At some point I just said, We'll just leave the phone. Like I'm not doing what's the next one again. Let's just be spontaneous so there were some works that she would sit or she would stand and she would model and i would just paint her and then we'll just think of something like this yari seat too she was one that said eh, let's do something someone selling food it was supposed to be someone selling amala <laughs> it was supposed to be someone selling amala but that amala was not it was not amala in <laughs> so i just said well let me just draw the woman like like i had like a lot of favorite works like that i did from the beginning like i had like the works were very neat and well detailed like i think this one was part of the this was the second work i did okay. this um Pemi Kwada, one room. okay it was like the second then this one 
was the third i think okay, yes daddy yo 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 because everybody can relate to their daddy coming back from work and yeah like welcoming him back home <laughs> like part of i had like highlights from my own points from okay. the um stuff that were happen- the stuff happening around but then my own highlights i think it was like even like the critic the art critic was part of the adjudicators i heard him saying that particular blank work that it's it has like a different meaning to him and is an art critic so for someone that's an art critic to say it feels like that was like the first time i was even going to hear him say something about any of the artworks i did because it was like i like this work i like it just just maybe just do this do that like just leave it like this so i knew that okay you might feel like i'm doing this particular one and maybe the art critic is like he's just writing and he's not saying anything so it's even the one that you feel like you're doing nonsense that the person might now like relate to like to say to aspiring female artists that want to be in this space what's the word one word of advice you'd like to give them a girl can dream and you can do it 